Welcome to Holy Ghost Schools Makweni, specifically Sultan Hamud in the Catholic Diocese of Machakos and in Makweni County. Here is a school of excellence and we prepare students for life. Holy Ghost Schools Makweni is under the management of the Congregation of the Holy Spirit popularly known as the Spiritans or the Holy Ghost Fathers. And it is of interest to know that it is purely a private school. So we are also registered under the umbrella of Catholic Private Educational Institutions Association, which we say we call ourselves CAPEA. Being a Catholic school, we go by our vision statement and uh, mission statement. We also have core values, which I would like to take you through so that you understand what we stand for. Our vision statement as a Holy Ghost Schools Makweni is towards the total development of each student spiritually, morally, intellectually, socially, emotionally, and physically to transform society. So here it gives you a clear picture of what Holy Ghost Schools stands for. Going by our mission statement that is rooted in our Catholic and Spiritan tradition, Holy Ghost Schools endeavors to develop young men with active and creative minds, a sense of understanding with active and creative minds, a sense of understanding and compassion for others. So following our mission statement, we begin the day by gathering around the table of the Lord to celebrate the Holy Eucharist together. Then from there, we go, we get our energy to go to begin uh, the day's activities. And also, it is it, it's also important to mention that we end the day again coming back to the chapel. The students sometimes they are assisted by a priest or by a spirit and seminarian uh, to pray together before they go and have their evening meals. Every month we have adoration or exposition to the Blessed Sacrament. Also, we have end term recollection. That's all the teachers, the support staff, the students, we come together to say thank you to God and also we recollect ourselves before we close the school. Now, it's also good to mention that we give holistic formation. We emphasize on the holistic development of the learner. So our guidance and counseling unit is superb. They take care of the heart of the students we prepare for life. So that if they have problem in the classroom, they will be able to go to the guidance and counseling unit for assistance, as the priests and the seminarians are also given the spiritual nourishment, and the teachers are given the intellectual nourishment. In doing that, we also observe our core values. And these are our core values, that strong sense of community, prayer, personal and faith development, concern for the poor, and discipline. And as a spirit and school, we ensure that we live in community, because community life is a hallmark of a spirit. So here there is no discrimination between teachers and students and support staff. We do our things together. 
This school started in the year 2014. And it started as a result of the generosity of one retired Major General Musomba. This man, who happens to be our neighbor here, he donated a 40-acre piece of land to the Holy Ghost Fathers. And his intention was that the local community get quality education. He felt that the local community were not getting quality education. They were marginalized in matters of education. And so the Holy Ghost agreed to this project. By then, our superior was Father Martin Keane, working with other people, like the current superior, Father John Binder, uh, the late Father David Moura, who did tremendous work at the beginning of, the, of, this, of this project. So once again, we remain forever indebted to retired Major General Musomba for his gesture of generosity for inviting us to do this project, which we see is growing from strength to strength, from stride to stride. In the year 2014, when we were receiving the first boys in our school, and from then to today, the school has so many changes when it comes to you know formation of the boys. That is also making sure that teach the teachers, that is the teaching staff, um, develop in their profession as teachers. We've also got to train the the subordinate staff to better the areas of their job. And when it comes to development, we have seen that uh, when we came to this school, we actually did not have offices to work in. And we began with a, a structure that was iron sheet. And uh, up to today, we have beautiful administration block whereby we have several offices for each department. The first members to work in the school when it opened on the 2nd of February 2014 was Father Paul Machalia Kamau, CSSP. The motto of the Holy Ghost schools is prepared for life. And it really captures the element that our boys, once they step in here in Form 1 to Form 4, that they are formed in very two significant ways, academically, and character-wise. And indeed, the motto guides us to show how our students academically, spiritually, and socially are to encounter challenges that they will face 
outside the gates of Holy Ghost schools. That these students will develop after four years of education, after four years of being prepared for life, that they are able to analyze, they are able to think deeply about a situation that confronts them, practical daily living, that they are dependent on their own sense of analysis, deductions, and they are able to be responsible of their own decisions, of their own actions, and of the consequences of what they undertake to do. We also had our first accountant by the name Mike Hallington. Uh, came from Ireland as a volunteer. And myself, I was the, I was the principal appointed, the principal. Together with the, a team of teachers and the support staff, was the board started. So once Major General gave us land, the next big question was, how do we get the school constructed? And it happened that Father Martin Keane, our superior, approached Blacklock College. This was around the year 2010, uh, to see whether they could partner with the Holy Ghost Fathers here in Kenya. And we are lucky enough that Blacklock College agreed to this partnership. Construction work could not start immediately because of land issues. We didn't have the title deed. But we thank God in the year 2012, construction work began. And the first thing that was constructed, the first building to be done, it was the Otuga Brock, which is over there, which was constructed in the year 20, uh, 2012. Together with the lab uh, block, dining hall, and the small hostel. So by the time you opened the school in the year 2014, that was, those were the structures that were there. Construction's work would continue every year with Black Lock College students coming out when they came out. The project that they had to was construction of the O'Connor, the O'Connor Hostel. That was in the year 2014, that is what we did. And then in the, year, in the years to come, they constructed the new dormitory, the newest.
also we have uh, people like Kida Mission Work. They helped us to do three classrooms. And there is a, a plaque there, a plaque there in their honor. The administration block behind me here, it was generously donated to us uh, by a man called Niall Mello, uh, who was working in partnership with Blackrock. Blackrock. So in belief, that is what has been happening. Our main donors, the Blackrock College, we remain grateful to them. They have continued to support us. We also got some funding from uh, some other organization, like the Core Fund helped us in the construction of the chapel, which was done in the year 2016. Other people have supported us in many ways. We have the Wheel of Wheelers who gave us the, uh, the overhead tank there. We have, here, we have uh, Mission Car who helped us with our first warhol. We have Kibanda, they have helped us with uh, some projects uh, here and there. The Irish Embassy, they have helped us especially with equipping buying some, uh, some, some furniture. So the support has been very, 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 very good. And a good will from different people. So Black Rock College in Ireland, which is a school uh, that was started by Holy Ghost Fathers there many years ago. They have been very, very instrumental in establishment of this institution. Their principal there, Alan McGinty, Great man. And it's a committee, they call them the Machakos Project Committee. And this committee in Blackwood, in collaboration with us here in Kenya, we do plan on the activities, like annual activities, especially in matters construction. People in Blackwood, they're involved so, so, so much, and in different ways of fundraising, which has been tremendous and very, very, very successful. And so what happened is that every year, we have a group of about 40, sometimes 60, of some of the students who are finishing their living certificate. They come out every year, after fundraising in Ireland, they work in the actual construction for about 10 days for the past few years, since the year 2013. And uh, this, this is a guy that, as you can see, they love working. They love getting that in. They love building something out uh, in Africa. And so Blackrock actually, they have been the main, uh, the main partner in the whole project. We remain indebted to them. I remember the first chairman I dealt with was uh, Stephen Doyle, the chairman of the Japanese committee in Blackrock. The current one is called uh, Brian Solomon, uh, who is coordinating and organizing with our team here. So Blackrock, Oh yes, I don't think we can talk about this school without the mention of Blackrock, the parents, the leadership there, and it's definitely the hardworking boys who come out here. So, very, very, very good food. Some other partners. We also have a guy called Aiden Collins. 
uh, who has worked on a very, 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 very uh, great sponsorship program. We have about 40 students who are sponsored uh, through what we call Mission Fan, back back of uh, Black Lab. So that's another, another great contribution, another great thing. Uh, for it's a school which started back in 2014 with a student population of 57 students and I'm happy that as per now, as we talk, we have a current enrollment of 518 students. We have for 30 teachers added on the curriculum, one on teaching practice, two brothers, the Holy Ghost Mission and two priests. My name is Jacinta M. Kisibu. I teach Kiswahili and Siri. I am a teacher by profession and vocation. I first began teaching in the year 2017 when I was a fresh graduate from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. I can say I have grown with the school. I have seen the school grow and the school has seen me grow. Thank you so much to all the teachers who we have worked together that have assisted me in my vocation and that I have also assisted. We thank God for the great time that we have had here in all Girls schools in Makwini. Uh, to be honest, here is not a place like any other. It is not a school like any other. It is a place to be whereby teachers, parents, students and all the non-teaching staff are like a family. Thank God for this great opportunity. In terms of infrastructure, we have 12 classes, each stream having a capacity of 45 students, and we have three streams per class. Let's go. Again. Thank you. So that is where we are coming. In 2017, when we presented the first class at TCC level, we have been able to produce good results in the South County and at County level. For example, in 2017, we had a win of 6.6, .6, but we broke slightly from 6.6 .6 to 5.8 in 2018. In 2019, we worked and we managed a win of 7.74. We expect the performance to work as we move and the staff, both the teaching and the teaching staff, we are working very hard to ensure that we offer quality, quality standards of education as enshrined with the use of all those fathers. In terms of achievement, the school we have achieved a lot to become the Almighty Police. And one is that we have now a diversified curriculum whereby now we offer computer and metal work apart from the ones we are offering, the credit we are offering at the start. Also, we have achieved in the area of enrollment. As I told you, that 2014 when the school started, we only need 70 students, which has grown now up to 14 students. We also have achieved in the area of expansion of the curriculum as 
changes, the expansion of the field, and the adoption of new games for learners. For now, we have more tennis, which is underway, under construction. We have more indoor games, and still we have engaged the teachers to make sure that they learn with the students in the same. We have also competed at higher levels in the in terms of sports and music, and twice we have managed to pop from regionals. And for last year, we had one student who qualified for the staff and games in Arusha, Tanzania. Also, we have achieved in the area of athletic performance, whereby out of Grand and Jinko, we managed to take 47 students to university, that's those who qualified with C plus and above, and C minus and above who are 61 out of 62, meaning they can still manage to get a certificate, a diploma, and, so, and, uh, and living programs. And in the future, we hope that we have 100% good performance so that all students can do a social of higher learning in the future. In terms of activities, we have participated in drama, the music festivals, sports, exchange programs with other schools in Kenya, and mostly black or college students. When they come on the benchmark, we learn from them as they also learn from us. We have also involved our students in contests and symposia at county and some county. My name is R. Peter Kamal, a student from Holy Ghost School from the year 2016 to the year 2019. Since I joined Holy Ghost School in the year 2016, I have gone through the education system. I have grown spiritually, morally, with the help of Father John, Father Isaac. All the brothers that have come to this school, they have helped me to grow up spiritually as a student and to know how to deal with people outside there. It's that I will never regret to be a student in Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost School has molded me also as a leader. I, I never knew how to lead students in high school because I thought students in high school are crooks, but when I came to this school, Father John and the other team of teachers has molded me to be that leader who, who knows how to lead people because Outside there we have people with different cultures, with different determinations and with different things in their mind. But bad people, evil people, but I now know how to deal with them all. I thank Holy Ghost School, I thank Holy Ghost Fathers for having thought and brought up this school, Holy Ghost Schools. Yeah, about our uh, sporting facilities and activities, I must admit that they are still very busy. What we are able to give to our students in matters of sports is uh, ball games, we have soccer, uh, volleyball, uh, basketball, uh, handball. Um, we are in the process of improving on the sporting facilities. Recently the football field was upgraded and expanded. We also have an intention of um, Improving the basketball facilities, maybe two or three more courts. Our boys also they get an opportunity to for indoor games, which they do in our multi-purpose hall, but especially. And besides those uh, sporting facilities, uh, sports for sports, our boys they also do what we call marathon, uh, that's athletics. Uh, every Friday. They participate in uh, juggling, all these uh, common, common sports. Uh, with regard to their menu, uh, we do try to, to, uh, to make sure that they are well fed. Uh, but basically what they have in the morning, when they wake up at 6 o'clock, they have porridge. 
And then at 10 o'clock, they'll have tea with bread or mandazi, they call it. Lunch time, usually it, they, will, they will have rice, or sometimes what they call mbokoi and gideri, gideri, which is a combination of corn and beans. Uh, definitely supper time, they have a heavy meal called ugali, ugali which they take almost every day. They do have chapati every Saturday. They do have eggs in between the week, some days of the week. They take beef uh, twice, twice a week. They take fruits three times a week. And uh, so they were, they were taken care of. Yeah, so as a school, we have put in place some projects to help us in cutting down the cost of running the school. Self-sustainancy is the way to go. We have projects like this farm here where we produce our own beans and corn. And uh, that's proved to be very, very successful. Beyond, besides this, we also have animal projects where we have beef farming. We also have milk, daily cows, we produce our own milk for the school community. We have portly, our boys, they take eggs from our farm. So we have all these projects and the latest project is the piggery project. We want to create our own pigs so that we can supplement, uh, supplement the, the, the budget of the school. Uh, besides that, I did so, so many other projects. We have a biogas plant which is working so well. Biogas plant. We are using about 90% of the fuel, cooking fuel, from the biogas, which is the which has proved to be very, 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 very successful. So the future uh, project, the immediate thing that we are doing, it is the technical college. Already we have eight classrooms, which are 90% complete. God willing, uh, God willing this year, when Blacklock come out, we hope to do uh, some production workshops on that area over there. Uh, where boys can be boys and girls, they can be able to, in, to engage in the production of items in areas of uh, carpentry, joinery, welding. Uh, there is a detailed uh, business plan for the institution, for the technical college. We'll be offering courses from uh, artisan courses uh, to the highest diploma, uh, the, the highest diploma. Actually, according to the business plan, it is, this is going to be a different pathway. Up to where if somebody is willing, you can go to, you know, to the highest level, PhD or something like that. Different pathway. The school has grown for the past six years. And I will say the sky is the limit. So there are so many areas that we want to develop, like the sporting facilities that we have, our library too, we need to develop. We also want to venture into so many areas that especially the installation of internet in our school so that we'll be able to catch up with the global world. It will also assist us that when even our students are at home, they will be able to do online learning 
and also we want to introduce IBM courses so that as the CPC is catching us up, we will be prepared. We also want to introduce some foreign languages like French, German, Spanish, so that at least when those who offer those courses will be able to go beyond where they were born. So these are some of the things that we want to also do as we expand our tentacles in Holy Ghost schools.